Um, let's just cover one other thing, drift over time. Um, this is not something that we um, are certain about, but there, that things do happen over time that, uh, that we have observed. Um, the LED intensity, um, the light source over time, and this is over several years, uh, does show a small drift. Now there are internal calibrations built into the S2 and the S3 that account for this fading, right, Dr. Bergeson? That's right. So we put in internal calibration standards in terms of detectors and light sources that calibrate uh, and allow us to accurately measure the brightness of the LEDs as they age and also the change in the sensitivity of our detectors as they age. And the internal calibration standards uh, are able to take out drifts such as the one that's shown here. Right. So, uh, you know, you see here, actually you'll notice from the, uh, the axis on the left, the y-axis, uh, it goes from 1 to 1.6. Um, you know, if you actually take it down to 0, um, then you actually uh, calculate the percent change and it's really only 7% over four years. That's not a large change. And again, as Dr. Bergeson has indicated, there are internal calibrations uh, that, uh, and algorithms that help to correct for that. So, you know, our sense is it's not a large change and it's not something that's going to be very significant to you. However, there is a sense over time, especially in the field, that maybe there is a downward drift. We're, we're looking at that more closely and certainly with the S3, we're going to pay more attention to that so that we make sure that over time that uh, the devices are still accurate. So we may actually put into place a uh, sort of a, uh, uh, a recalibration every year or two to account for, uh, to make sure that we're being completely accurate. So in summary then, we've made some great improvements over the, the past few years, haven't we? We've made the scanner faster, more portable and convenient, certainly a lot lighter. It's a much sexier device now than it was. And, uh, and that has not come at a price in terms of variability and accuracy. That's what we've shown you today and from the work that we've done is that, uh, you know, uh, again, like other measurement devices, there's some variability, but with proper care um, and learning, uh, you know, some of the pitfalls, you can uh, manage this, keep variability to a minimum and teach your customers to do the same. So with proper treatment and best practices, uh, Timely calibration, that's in our uh, court and that's something that we'll be taking care of. The S3 can be a very effective tool to measure carotenoids in the skin and promote your business. Um, we're, I don't know if you have any other comments, Dr. Bergeson? No, we really, uh, really probably haven't been able to address every question that everybody's had. Um, but hopefully the things we've been able to cover uh, give you kind of a sense for the performance capabilities of the scanner. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Um, you know, we're very proud to be a part of this program, the S3 scanner. It's something that nobody else in the world can offer. Uh, it's really a, a wonderful insight into our, into our health and well-being and our fruit and vegetable consumption. Uh, we probably didn't address every question and every topic that you might have today. Um, so we will actually be making available a frequently asked questions document that will summarize some of the things that we talked about today and perhaps some other uh, topics that may arise. Uh, we recognize everyone's hard work and commitment to the scanner. We've introduced some principles today that will help you reduce variability. We know that this is something you can do, right? It, um, you look at the, some of the things that you need to do and, and, and it's something that I think everyone is capable of, uh, of doing to improve it, improving variability. So we know that you can do that. Uh, we're 100% committed on our side to do all that we can to support you. Uh, we're always willing to answer your questions. We have a, an expert team that can, uh, can deal with any of the issues that you may face. So uh, we'll continue to support you in that role. And uh, again, thanks to Dr. Bergeson from, for joining us from, uh, from Brigham Young University today. It's been great to be here. Thanks a lot. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, everyone.